Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the Rideshare Guy. And let's talk about how you can set up Uber Pin in order to make sure that you have to give a pin to your driver or your driver has to request a pin from you in order for the ride to start. Now this is good for many reasons. Not only will it help you verify the correct driver and rider getting in your car, but it's just another added measure of safety that everybody is looking for. Now, Uber has had Uber Pin for about a year or so now, and it's a little known feature, but it can have a lot of impact because it's going to allow you to have a four digit pin that you will tell your driver he has to put it in his phone and then the ride will actually begin. If you don't have the pin or you don't give your driver the pin, well, then the ride will not start. So this is just a good way to make sure that you're paired with the correct people, whether you're a driver correctly paired with your passenger or the passenger correctly paired with your driver. Now you should be using your other features as well too, like looking at the picture of the driver, looking at the license plate, making sure the car somewhat resembles what it's supposed to be. And the reason why I say it that way is because unfortunately, even though Uber is a tech company, not always up to date when it comes to the right cars, the colors, things like that. So again, just make sure you pay attention to everything. Now it is pretty simple to do. All you have to do is open up your Uber app, tap the three bars at the top, and then go down to settings. Once you see settings, this is where it's going to be. You look under safety and it shows you verify your ride. If you click that, it'll take you to another prompt where you can actually enable this setting. And if you want, you can enable it for all of the time or during the nighttime. And that's between the hours of 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. Now, one thing to note, this feature is toggled off by default. You do have to toggle it on if you want to partake having a pin code and having that extra layer of safety. The easiest and best thing to do is really just Put it on all the time. That is going to make sure that you are verified, that you are in the correct ride, that you are taking the correct passenger, depending on if you're a driver or a rider. All right, and now that we covered what passengers have to do in order to set up the pin, then drivers, what do you do? Well, essentially, all you gotta do is put the pin in once you're about to start the ride. You gotta get the pin from the passenger. They're going to have it on the order screen. It's gonna pop up. Underneath all the information, it's going to say the four digit pin code right there. All they got to do is give you the pin. And that's when you put it in right when you're about to start the ride. And then the ride will begin. Now, Uber Eats also has a pin that's set up, but that is under different circumstances on when and how to use it. And if you want to check that out, there is a video that we did make on that. Link will be in the description below. So if you want to check out that video, kind of understand what's going on with the Uber Eats pin. Now I want to hear from you. Are you using PIN if you're a passenger? Have you selected it or turned it on? And what are your reasons why? Not only that, for drivers, are you seeing other riders use this PIN verification? Comment below and let us know. Now, if you think that Uber PIN is a really great feature, or if you think that Uber PIN should by default be on, then make sure you smash that like button. Also, if you want more content relating to the gig economy, whether it's rideshare driving, food delivery, shopping, anything gig related, then make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. All right, everyone, drive safe.